Let's build a Pac-Man game using ChatGPT01 with a single prompt. Here we go. I opened up ChatGPT.com. We're making sure we're choosing the ChatGPT01 preview model. This is by far the most powerful AI model I've ever used in my life, especially when it comes to coding. Other games I tried to build with AI models before would take me hours and hours and tons of prompts to do to build the game. I would have to edit every single little piece of the game prompt by prompt to get it done. With ChatGPT01, I'm able to put in a single prompt to build my game. We're going to build a Pac-Man game here. Follow along. I'm going to put the prompt below once I'm done with it. The key to building apps with ChatGPT01 is to give a good amount of detail so that it builds exactly what you want. The, the, the model is super smart and super precise. So the more detail you can give, the more accurate your app will be. So let's start with this. Use Pygame to make a game called Pac-Boy. Very similar to Pac-Man. So I always recommend if you're building games for the first time, if you're a beginner, make sure to say use Pygame to make a game called Pac-Boy. This is a library in Python, which makes it super easy to build games. I'll get into all the technical details soon, but it's super simple. Now let's get into some of the detail of this game. First detail I'm putting in, you are a yellow circle with an eye and a mouth. You're automatically moving forward. So we're just building the general Pac-Man character. You are in a maze, so we're building the level. In the maze, there are white dots you need to eat. So we're building out the cookies that the Pac-Man's going to be eating. Again, very simple step-by-step building out the details. The character automatically moves forward. You use the arrow keys to change direction. So you want to be specific about the controls near. You can make the controls whatever you want. If you want to use WASD, you can do that as well. You cannot move through walls. So again, even if you're building out your own Zelda clone, your own Mario clone, whatever you want, make sure you're specific about what you want the character to do. There is a red ghost that's also moving around the maze that you want to avoid. So we're building out the enemy with the prompt. The ghost moves along the grid, changing directions only at tile centers to navigate the maze correctly without getting stuck in walls. So we're telling the AI what we want the ghost to do as it's chasing us around the board. The ghost touches you, you die. Use retro colors and a dark background. So we want to give it instructions how I want the game to look and feel. If I want to give it a futuristic look to use neon colors, we can do that. I want to make it feel like an old school Pac-Man. Put a score counter in the top right. That increments by one every time you eat a dot. So as you eat the cookies, the score goes up. Now I can make a scoring system. And then the last parts of the prompt I put in here is automatically restart the game when you win or lose and give the code in a single file. So this is really simple for us to copy and paste into our editor. This is all you need to build an entire game with ChatGPT01. This is pretty incredible. I'm going to hit enter now. We're going to see what we get. So this is taking what we put in. This is taking the entire prompt. It's going to spit out the code for us. What's really incredible about ChatGPT01 that makes it different than any other AI model out there is it does reasoning. It takes your prompt and solves it step by step. Typically when you're using ChatGPT 4.0 or any other AI model, you put in a prompt and then it does one thing and spits out a response. With ChatGPT 01, what makes it incredible is it goes step by step and figures out what's the best way to respond to your prompt. So for my game, it's figuring out step by step. Okay, let's build the game. Let's create the rules. Let's build the maze. Let's build the characters. Let's build the scoring system. It does it step by step. It's able to reason with itself to build the highest quality product possible. The reason why it took so many prompts to build this with other AI models, it only does one thing at a time. So you have to build out the game one prompt at a time. But with ChatGPT01, it's able to reason with itself. It's able to spit something out step by step so you can get really complex responses like what we're about to get here. You can see the entire thought process the AI goes through, which is really, really cool. Create the game, navigate the maze, clarify the rules, lay out the game, lay out the maze, implement game restart, map out the basics, set up the scene, adjust the game logic. It's really amazing to see how this AI is able to think and come up with the steps for the game. All right, so now it's spitting out the code here. You can see it write the code step by step, which is really amazing to watch. Typically, again, this takes hours. It's doing it in in seconds here. You can see the maze it's building out here in the code. And what we're going to do in a second is take this code, put it into a code editor and run it, which I'll show you how to do step by step as well. You don't need experience with that. Boom, looks like it's done. Let's copy the code here. Now what I have open is Cursor. This is the most powerful AI tool you can find. This is going to allow you to run any code you want using AI. 
I'll have the link down below. Download it. There's a free version. Use the free version. You can do everything here with the free version. Once you open that up, you'll see this screen. Now let's just open up a folder to put our code in. All you have to do is just go on your desktop, create a folder called Pac-Man. Okay, so we opened up our folder. Let's do this. Let's create a new file. We will call this Pac-Man dot pi this indicates that it's a python file we'll drop in our code that chat chat gpt just spit out for us we'll hit save couple quick things we need to do to make sure this works hit if you're on mac control tilde key this opens up our terminal First thing you want to do is install Python. So if you've never run anything Python on your computer before, make sure you download Python. So go on your browser, type in download Python and make sure you install Python onto your computer to get this to run. Once Python's installed in your computer, we can do the next step. We'll do pip install pygame in the terminal. This installs pygame, which is going to run the game itself. Hit enter on that. And then once that's installed, we can run the game. So again, make sure you have Python installed, then run that command I just put in there, which will be down below. All the links, everything I'm doing will be down below. And then finally, we can type in Python 3 Pacman. Dot pi. So Python 3 space, then the name of our file, and this is what's going to run the code. Before I do that, if you learned anything here, make sure you hit like, make sure you hit subscribe, and let me know in the replies what other games and apps you want me to build with AI. All my videos about building stuff with AI, I want to make sure I build stuff you want to see. Now we can hit enter. And there you go. Look at that. It is running. We have... We can move around Pac-Man. We can collect cookies. If you look in the top right, the score is increasing. And the ghost is uh, chasing me around on the screen too. It looks just like Pac-Man. And again, we built this all in one prompt without writing any code whatsoever, which is pretty incredible. Let's see what happens if the, uh, the ghost hits me here. Uh, and it resets the game, sets the score to zero. That's pretty amazing. That was all with one single prompt, one code file. It gets it in there. It starts running the game now there's a lot of other cool things you can do if you want to go back and improve this, right? If we want to go back now and we want to come in here, we make updates, we can do that. So if we wanted to say, add another two ghosts and make them purple and green, we can do that. If we want to change the scoring system, if we want to add super cookies that are worth more points, we can do that. Again, when you have AI working for you, you don't need to know code. You don't need to know any of that. The AI does the work, spits out the code for you. You're really the CEO of your own software company. All done with one prompt. Chat GPT-01 is pretty incredible. I can't wait to see this integrated into more tools. If you got stuck at any point during this also, feel free to go in back into the chat GPT and let it know where you got stuck, whether it's Python not working, anything like that. You can just type in here and chat GPT will debug it all for you. So really important to know.